Hello, hello, and welcome to yet another special episode. This time a Belgium special. First time that I got Belgian one cent rolls. So I'm super excited for those as usual with foreign rolls. And yeah, I also got this at the Frankfurt meetup from KN. Thank you so much again. And yeah, I already saw another collector on the meeting open two of these Belgian rolls. And while he did that, I saw two coins that I still needed actually. So I got those. Now I'm only missing one Belgian one cent that's in circulation. Let's hope for that one. And yeah, I'm not even missing the rare one from 2017 anymore. But I would still be happy to find that again. Of course, an NIFC would be amazing or something else from another country. Let's see. I expect, of course, a lot of Belgian one cents, which is amazing. And always better than the usual Austrian variety. Let's get started. Okay, the first roll, first coin from Belgium with the new design King Philippe from 2015. I think that one was one of the missing ones, but yeah, as I said, I kind of found it, got it on the meeting. Belgium 2013, really good quality. I mean, here it's a bit almost like a Crease die error, but nothing too special and a little rotation error as well. But that's to be expected with many of those Belgian coins. Yeah, anyways, I will check for quality on this one. 2016, also in amazing quality. And a coin from the Netherlands from 2013. Often People think that's an NIFC or a rare coin, but it's not. It's, I think, like 30 million mintage or something. But as far as I know, it was actually minted for Belgium back then. So this could also appear quite often. Germany, 2009. Also some extra material here, but yeah, <laughs> that's just the Belgian mint. France, 2008, nice, really good quality. Portugal, 2007, wow, that's so refreshing compared to Austrian rolls. I would love to hunt for more of those Belgian one cents, but yeah, I have five rolls, so that's amazing already. And Luxembourg, 2012. Nice, I think I'm actually missing one or two Luxembourg one cents from the one that are findable. So let's see, maybe one of those will be in here. Big chunk of extra material, so I guess it's Belgium. Yes, <laughs> I don't know, with Belgium I almost never keep them. Although here, like, it is really a big chunk. I will put it aside for now, why not? It's just a one cent. <laughs> Doesn't matter if I have one more or less. Austria 2012. So unusual to have so little Austrian coins. This time I actually have the Belgian mintage list in front of me, so I always check right on the video if it's an NIFC or not because I can obviously not remember the weird minting for circulation or not minting for circulation Belgium idea or way of doing it. France 2014, relatively good quality, I will check that one. The first coin from Spain 2010. Belgium, 2010, that's close. I'm missing 2011. <laughs> 
2012 now as well. So just the 2011 missing. Second roll and amazing variety in the first roll of eight different countries. I think that pretty much never happened with an Austrian one cent roll. So yeah, really good. <laughs> I'm enjoying it so far. So let's continue. We start the next roll with Germany 2004 F. Lithuania 2015. Yes, Belgium 2011. Unfortunately, really bad quality, but it's a new coin and there are still a few rolls to go, so I hope to find a better one. But for now, this will go to the side. Yes, already one new coin. Another Luxembourg from 2004. This one I will check. Pretty good quality Netherlands 2000. I'll put this aside. And the last coin, France 1999. Yeah, not as interesting as the first roll. And I kind of have the feeling that these were rolled in like 2016, 2017, which also makes sense because Netherlands doesn't really use the one and two cent anymore in the last years, or not at all, I don't know. So I'm especially happy that I got one cent roll still. Let's see what they wrapped into the paper back then. <laughs> Hopefully something amazing for me to discover. I mean, one new coin is already pretty good. <laughs> but let's see, there's still three more rolls to go. And we start this one with 2016. And another 2011, nice. That's already a bit better quality than the other one. So we can just exchange those. And the next 2011, nice. This one is even better. Let's hope there are also a few more 2017s, because I'm sure some other collectors might need those. I mean, there's not so many that are doing date runs, but some, and there's more that collect rare coins generally. So I guess the 2017, a lot of people would take it. I think at this point I got pretty much all Belgian years here, except the NIFC, so let's hope for that as well. And also with Netherlands, I get a lot of coins, so I hope there too to find something. It at least feels possible, much more possible than in an Austrian roll. But with the two cents I actually found in Austrian rolls already, Netherlands NIFC. Two times, I think, even. So let's see what's possible with the one cents here. Okay, the first 2017 coin from France. But nothing newer than that. Pretty good quality 2012 Belgium. Oh, 
check at the end. And the first coin from Italy, 2005. 2007, also in pretty good quality. 2009, in amazing quality. So yeah, I will also put it aside. And another Portugal, 2004. I will check that as well. Italy 2015, pretty good quality, so put it aside too. The first moment I thought 2002, but it's a 2004, so nothing special. And another King Philippe for 2016, also in amazing quality, so yeah, let's just put it to the side. Really shiny coin, another 2013, but also here I will check for quality. Another Portuguese from 2005, I will just check as well. And we finish off with Luxembourg 2014, which I will put here too. Second last roll for one of my most fun and exciting hunts of one cent rolls that I ever had, I think. So let's see. So far I mainly just had Austrian one cent rolls and a few times German one cent rolls. I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, from Cyprus I also had. That was of course also quite exciting. <laughs> But yeah, usually they are super boring, the ones and hunts. And here it at least feels possible to find like a Belgium NIFC or a Netherlands NIFC or a rare Luxembourg coin. So that's super refreshing and exciting for me. Spain 2013, pretty good quality. Quite good quality 1999 Belgium, I'll also check. Oh wow, <laughs> really good quality 2006. With a bit of an error here, but yeah, I will definitely check as well. Let's put this aside too. Two thousand fifteen, amazing quality. I will leave aside. The final roll already. Let's hope for another new coin or some other cracker find, or at least a two thousand seventeen, a rare one. That would be nice as well. 2007 Belgium we start and it's quite good quality so let's just check. Another 2011, I will also put it here. Really shiny 2016 again. Mm -hmm. 
2008 France, really shiny. I will put aside. Pretty shiny German 2007D. I'll also check. And Luxembourg 2006. I think it's actually 5 or 6 that I'm missing. So let's hope. Last coin for this hunt Germany 2004. Nothing really special in these last rolls anymore, but yeah, I will check now. Overall, for a one cent hunt, pretty exciting, and there should be at least one new coin, so I'm quite happy. I would have hoped for one or two Belgium 2017, but it's okay, I have it now, so would have just been for the others. <laughs> I checked now and for a one cent hunt it was pretty amazing, especially because it was not the usual Austrian rolls. But yeah, let's see what I found. I found a bunch of quality upgraders, Belgium 2006, 2007, 2009, 2012 and 16. Then I found this French 2008 in better quality and also the Netherlands 2013. And yeah, I decided to keep this extra material one cent from 2013, because why not? <laughs> and there are two new coins from my collection actually, so super happy with that. One is the Belgium 2011, which I already knew during the hunt, and then really the Luxembourg 2006 is a nice 4 million vintage coin and a new coin for my collection. So now I think there's only 2010 missing, then I have all from 2002 to 2016, and then only the rare ones afterwards are still missing. Quite happy with the result. I hope that I will soon be able to open more of these Belgian rolls. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe, comment and leave a like. And then I see you on my next hunt.